All right, guys, I have Mr. David Lawson. I've been so excited to get him on because he's one of the most successful Zillow conversion agents that I'm aware of. He's a good friend. He's also a great trainer and mentor. So he's really good at teaching people how to be successful. So David, thank you so much for having me on. Why don't you share a little bit about kind of what your track record is with conversion of Zillow, and then we'll dive right into the scripts and and have some fun with these guys. Well, first of all, um, we've tested a lot of things and I'm gonna share a lot of that with you, but in the last 12 months, we've sold $58.5 million worth of Zillow leads. Nice. That's Zillow, Trillia, and we also have realtor.com leads and so on. Um, and the thing is, is if you're paying for leads, you need to learn how, and that's why we're talking about, you need to get good and you need to learn how to convert 10% because the leads are costing more and more each and every day. And if you only convert one or two or 3%, but then you get to five and then you get to seven and you get to 10%, all of a sudden those leads are highly profitable. And then, then you think of them as great leads. Awesome. That, yeah, so let's dive in. And for those of you guys out there, David's in uh, Park City, Utah, and he's built an extraordinary team. So, you know, if you guys have any uh, Park City leads or referrals, make sure you, you connect with them because you know he's going to do a great job of converting them. All right, Thank so David, you. could you kind of walk us through your thought process around the script and you know any scripting ideas and tell us about what you guys do and how you do it? Okay, well, let's start with the script and then I'm gonna explain to you what we do with the script and then I'm gonna tell you why and how come it's successful. Great. So I'm just going to do the script really quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. So hi, Patrick. This is David Lawson. I'm your local Zillow premier agent with the Lawson team at Engel and Volkers. I see you're interested in 123 Main Street. Man, that's a great property right in Old Town near the town lift. When would you like to see it? Uh, well, I think we're going to be around maybe uh, Thursday, Friday. Okay. Thursday or Friday. Great. Well, I have some time on Thursday. Um, how about, does three o'clock work or is five better for you? After Probably skiing? five o'clock would be ideal. Yeah, yeah lots of times people like five o'clock after skiing. So great. So we'll set that up. And okay, so now I'm going to, so when we get off the phone, I'm going to confirm your, the appointment with you as um, via text. And also, again, my name, shit. All right, start over. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, I'll edit all that out. Yeah. Okay. So, so when you say, just say, I want to see the property today at five. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. I want to see the property today at five would be or, ideal. No, I'll start over. I'll ask. So when would you like to see the property? I mean, today at five would be ideal. Perfect. I have time available at five. That's great. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm our appointment with you via text as soon as we hang up. And again, my name is David Lawson. And I'm curious, or while I have you on the phone, what is it, Patrick, that caught your eye about this property, 123 Main Street? Oh, well, we love that location. I mean, this property is sweet. I think it, I think it could be the one. Okay, you like the location, it could be the one. Fantastic. You know, also, Patrick, I may know of a few other properties you might be interested in. I might actually have a home similar to this in my back pocket. Are there any other properties you'd like to see today? I mean, if you think there's another one to see that's similar to this one, um, yeah, I'd be down with that. Okay, fantastic. All right. Well, again, my name is David Lawson, and I'm going to send you the text message with my contact information as soon as we hang up. And just to confirm, your phone number is 760-445-6555, and your email is patrick at I'm the best coach on the planet. That's right. That's it. Okay. Well, thank you. I look forward to meeting you today at 123 Main Street at five o'clock. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. So very short, very sweet, right? Mm -hmm. So um, when you understand, okay, and I'm going to explain more a little, a little later, but when you understand what these leads are coming in, they are calling and they, they have a property in mind and they want to see it. Our job is to give them what they want. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. 
Cool. Do you want to do the five steps? Yes. So you're going awesome. to Okay, so you mentioned that there's five important things to do on every internet lead call, especially Zillow. So, you know, what are these five things that you're talking about? Yes. So I train my team and my buyer's agents those five things. And yep, and if you understand, you're going to understand why the script works so well. First and foremost, you want to set the appointment. You want to get in front of the buyer. You know, that's what they're calling for. Give them what they want to see a property. Give them what they want. Show the property. That's number one. So that's our goal. Number two is the introduction. Your introduction, it must be powerful. You can't pause. You Because if you pause, you open up the objection door, right? So what is it? Hi, Patrick. This is David Lawson. I'm your Zillow local premier agent with the Lawson team here in Park City. I see you're interested in 123 Main Street. Man, I love that property in Old Town, right by the town lift. When would you like to see it, right? See how it's one constant. I don't give you the chance to ask, guy, does it have a garage or, you know, anything like that, right? So that's number two. Your, your introduction has to be powerful. It has to be confident. And, and when you say it like that, you are not only the Zillow premier agent and you're local, but you're also the local expert. Number three, you got to mention this. And I just said it. You mention because they're calling off a Zillow. They're calling off a Realtor.com. They're calling off a Trillia. Patrick, I'm your Trillia local premier agent, right? The thing is, is I want you to think that like I'm working with, you know, it's like Zillow and I are buddies, right? Like they're just, that's, you know, they chose me to be, because I'm the best to work with you, right? Right. And then number four, you noticed, and it's very odd. You know how, Patrick, we were taught in coaching many decades ago. So Patrick, how are you? Patrick, how's the family? Patrick, what can I do to help you? Patrick, I'll look forward to meeting you, right? And uh, this is another thing I I flipped and it works like magic, right? I say, hi, Patrick, when I meet. And at the end, I say, Patrick, I look forward to meeting you. But the rest, three times I give you my name. Why do I do that? The thing is, so first of all, I want you to understand, or I want you to know who I am and remember my name and then when you get a text from me, as soon as we get off the phone, you're going to go, okay, that's David Lawson, right? So you repeat the name three times. And what's number five? Send them a text to confirm the, the, um, the meeting. And you also do a short video. <laughs> Hi, Patrick. David, you know. Hi, Patrick. David Lawson here. I'm right here on Main Street in beautiful Park City, just wanted to put a name to the face or a face to the name, just wanted to say hello. And I can't wait to meet you at 123 Main Street today at five o'clock. Now, why do you, why is that so important? And here's the reason. Zillow says 70% of the people will use the agent, the first agent they meet with, but it's when they meet with, so when I do that video and I send it to you, do you know a little bit more about me? Yes. Yeah. The other thing is, is that we have found when you set an appointment and then you send the text and then you send a video, they rarely ever um, don't show up, right? Nice. Okay. Cool. All right. So can you... Um... It says break down the script you have for these internet so that everyone understands. Uh, so you, what's next? What else do you want to cover? Okay, so now that you know the script, why is it so important to learn the script and to understand how it works? Okay. There's a question, something like that. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, ask. Okay, so David, um, so why is it so important to learn this script and to understand how the script works? Good question. First of all, with any scripts, you know, you must practice them. You must internalize them. You must role play them. You know, must know them inside and out, right? Mm -hmm. This script is, I made it so, or it is so simple. And I got to tell you, Patrick, it works like magic, right? 
So let me tell you why it works. So think 10,000 foot level, right? Okay, we all know that the NAR and different people, they say the reason, you know, 81% of all consumers say the first impression is the most, in fact, or most important factor when selecting an agent. And then Zillow and a lot of online people say, or, and it doesn't matter, this is not just with necessarily with working with buyers, but 70% still, it blows my mind, 70% of the people still work with the first agent that they meet, what? Face to face, right? So therefore, if we know we have a 70% chance of winning, if we do anything, um, that's what we should do. That's the reason why this whole concept is just get face to face, get face to face with people as often as possible. Right. And, and if you can't get them, so you're in San Diego and I'm in park city and you say, Oh, I'm, I, I can't see the property today. I'm in San Diego. No problem, Patrick. We do this all the time. We'll just go over and I'll FaceTime you. Does five o'clock work for you? Yes. So now he, you've seen me twice at the introduction. And then I go over and, and then we go and we walk. I walk through the house so I know the house really well. And then I go through and then I call you like, and then I call you from outside, walk in the door. Okay, we're going to go see 123 Main Street. And I walk through and I already have previewed it. So I know what it's like, right? And then I just show you the whole house. And, and then we go on and ask, you know, ask the, you know, all the other questions that, that we're not going to get into today, right? Yeah, and makes then, sense. And then the other thing you have to know, Patrick, you might know this. If somebody call, if there's an internet lead and they call on 123 Main Street, what is the chance that they're going to buy that house? Pretty good. I mean, I don't know. What is it? No, it's less than 1%. They don't usually buy the house that they're calling about, mm -hmm. right? So if we understand that they're not going to buy that house why are we meeting with them you know we're meeting them to get face to face to get them to con commit to using us and we do that by doing a good job building rapport showing we're the expert and so on and so forth right mm -hmm. so if you have this so i always, i played baseball right i played a lot of baseball and I can tell you that we would not be talking right now if I could get a hit seven, seven out of 10 times, right? If I, you know, if I fail seven out of 10 times, I like him the soup. I'm the MVP of the major, major league baseball, right? Yes. So we have to understand in our mind that we're, we have to get up to the bat. We got to take some swings, right? And so, you, you know, you know how important mindset is and attitude, right? Mm -hmm. Well, 30% of those times, though, people are, they're not going to work with me or they're going to want to be work with the listing agent or they already have an agent or, 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 right. Or you have the mindset, Hey, I got a phone call. I'm paying a lot of money for a lead. I'm getting a phone call. I got a 70% chance. And all I got to do is go show that one house or two houses, and then I will build and have a client for life. That's the concept. Cool. I love it. You've, um, you, you brought up some really great, don't do this with the script. Can you share with us the do's and the don'ts or the don'ts uh, of the scripting? Because I think this is really important. Well, the thing is, is that we used to be trained in asking lots and lots of questions, right? We want to pre-qualify. We want to find out when they're moving, where they're coming from. We want to find out, have they been pre-qualified? We want to know if they have any money. Do they, we want to know, are they real? We want to ask them, are both decision makers going to be there when we blah, 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 right? And take all that stuff and throw it in the garbage can. Because those are all questions that are going to disallow you from actually reaching your goal. What is your goal? Get in front of the client, right? That's right. So I always say, do not ask them questions about the house. 
right? You're gonna have plenty of time to ask questions once you're already face to face. So if they wanna see one, two, three Main Street, if, if uh, you in the opening statement, hi, this is David Lawson, the Zillow premier agent with the Lawson team, pause, pause, pause. Then Patrick's gonna say, hey, what about that house? You know, does it, you know, it looks like it only has a one car garage. Is that right? See, we don't wanna go into that. Right. We wanna get in front of them. And if they ask us questions, I like to just say, Patrick, I, I, Look, what I want to do is I want to show you this house and then I want you to, um, we're going to go over so many things and, and you're going to get every question you can think of asked while we're in the house and it'll make it a lot easier, right? Yeah, that's really interesting because that's counterintuitive to what I would have anticipated. I thought we probably would create conversation around the house and some of the details, but I really like the way you're, you're saying this, you're framing it like, don't do it just do it all face to face at the house yes. to ensure that you win because then yeah. you lose the opportunity to get face to face which is the main goal that's exactly right cool i like that but another thing you never want to do is you never want to stop 100 percent focus on it so you don't go oh patrick hang on a second i'm gonna let me see i'm gonna check the mls I'm going to see who the listing agent is. I'm going to go see if it's pending already. No, you don't do any of that, right? Mm, you don't put them on hold while you just set the appointment, right? You don't do anything. It's short. It's simple. It's the kiss, right? Keep it simple, stupid, right? That's it, right? So you don't put them on hold while you set the appointment. You do not let there be awkward silence, so that you're looking up stuff or whatever. Agents are notoriously bad at doing that, right? And then the person's on the other line and there's this awkward silence and they're like, what is this, right? He, he has to go look something up like that. So what you've done is you've just disqualified yourself as the expert, nice. right? Yep. Yeah, that Another makes sense. thing, listen to this carefully. Do not tell them oh, I need to check with the listing agent to see if it's available, right? What do you do? Because then they say, oh, you're not the listing agent? Oh, okay, never mind, click. You know, then you, you have lost that opportunity, right? And if- um, What if they if, ask you if you are the listing agent, what's your, what's, how do you guys handle that? No, yeah, we're the local P P Zillow premier agent and we, we're um, perfectly happy to help you or, or you know, you, you, you come up with, you know, in our market, it's different because, well, every market is different, but you, okay, let, let's start over. I, I didn't like that one. So, yeah, so what so I'm going to so start to you do not. <clears throat> so lastly, or next, do not ask them or, um, or say, I need to check with the listing agent. Well, so what happens if they tell you, if they ask it, are you the listing agent? Oh, that's a great question. So, you know, you need to know how to answer the question. No, I'm your Zillow premier agent and I can show you this house along with any and every other house in the entire market. And then you get right back to it. You try to, you, you don't try to get into any long conversation and you just start talking about the next thing. Okay, great. Well, I plan on seeing you at five o'clock. Thank you so much. And before I do, I'm going to send you a text, blah, blah, blah. Right? Nice. Yep. And at right. the end, I usually don't say, do you have any other questions? Because now you're opening the objection door again. Right? Mm -hmm. What else don't you do? Do not ever, never, never, ever, 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 no property on the planet is under contract. <laughs> Do not tell them it's under contract because if you tell them it's on, it's under contract, they might go away. So, you know what we do? We set the appointment and then, then we send them the text. Hi, Patrick. And you know, here's to confirm. We're going to see it. One, two, three, main street, five. And then hi, Patrick. Hey, I can't wait to see you there. And then we wait an hour or, or, you know, you depend on, you know, where it is from the time you're going to do it, you wait some time. And so what you do is you call the listing agent and then you just ask him, Hey, is this under contract? Is this property? What's it look like? What are the due diligence dates? 
does this look like there could be a chance of a cancellation? I don't know in your market, but we're seeing about 20% of the properties that go under contract fail, right? Mm -hmm. and, and then are you willing, are you looking at, or would you be willing to take a backup offer? Yes. And if they say all that, then you just go show the property. And see, most people go, I don't want to go waste an hour to go show the property, but now you're missing the whole point, right? Because you get in front of them and then you show up, you open the door and you come, man, and you, when you have bad news for somebody, you don't beat around the bush. You open the door, you come in and Patrick, man, I got bad news. I just found out that this home is under contract, but let's look at it. I talked you know, when the agent called me, I found out that, it, you know, the due diligence is up in a week and it my blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay. So that's another one. I love and it. it's powerful. So when you understand this and you just think of it differently, you're going to win. You're going to win big time. It looks like you've dealt with all of the little details to be able to get to a 10% conversion rate, which is really the gold standard. Mm -hmm. So, David, this was amazing. Is there any final words? Obviously, we will do another video. Let's talk about, you know, what to do on a showing, writing offers, how to get, how to win. But I think this was super powerful. Hold on. Let me kick Randy off. Hey, Randy, I'm going to call you. So let's wrap that up. <clears throat> David, is there any final words? We will do another video with you on, you know, some showing strategies and some offer writing strategies, but this kind of upfront strategy is super crystal clear. You've really knocked it out of the park. Is there any final words uh, to the agents out there that need to get in front of these clients? Okay, so we have tested this script with so many people, we've tweaked it. I know what I'm telling you, Patrick, and telling your audience is a lot different than what they've heard in the past. I would say, trust the process and try it and change your, your attitude and change your mindset to, I, my goal is to set appointments and get in front of people. And if you do that, you will win. You will increase your conversion rate dramatically. So that's what I'd like to end with. And I can't wait. So we'll do another one of these when we can talk about what is the next process or you know, in the selling process. But remember this one thing, if we don't get in front of them, we don't know how to show them. We don't need to know how to show them property or write offers or do anything right. So this is the key. I train this to brand new agents that join my team and they are selling property in the first month. Nice. So, you know, the proof's in the pudding, right? The success, success leaves clues. And I promise you, if you try this, it'll work. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. If you need to reach out to David, you can go check him out at the David Lawson in Park City with Angle and Voker and check out his Zillow profile for the thousands of reviews at this point and contact him if you have any additional questions and or any referrals. Thank you, David. You rock. Yes.